So this is the third video of the tutorials and it's going to show you how the train will sometimes go down different tracks. Um, when it reaches the halfway point here at the signal box, um, the players are going to make a vote and they're going to just decide which of the routes the train goes down. Now, why is that important? Um, well, each of the characters have a second objective. Not only must they stop the train, but they must fulfill their second mission too. And uh, for some of those characters, the mission would involve taking the train down a particular route. So let me introduce the routes first of all. Uh, the first one is the viaduct here. The viaduct is the mid-length route and has on it the longest bridge. The fast track is the middle route. It's the quickest one. Uh, it's got a mid-length um, bridge as well. Then you've got the longest route, so it takes longer for the train to get to Paris going on this route, and it has the shortest bridge on it. So, let me introduce a few of the characters to you. Um, we've got the prisoner of war, who wants to escape his pursuers quickly. He's interested in the fast track. And the photographer, who is commissioned to take some photographs on the scenic route. The chanteurs also wants to take the fast track and the engineer who wants to inspect the viaduct and take that route. And of course the saboteur who typically wants to take the fast track but not every game. I'm going to explain that later. So remember you had those character reference cards earlier? That's going to tell you for each of the characters what their second objective is. And as you can see about four or five of them have an interest in dictating which way the train is going to go. So, if you were an engineer, you had to have two missions. A, stop the train. B, take the train down the viaduct route. So how would you do that? Well, when the train arrives here at the red line, which is the signal box, um, the train's gonna stop whatever speed it was gonna go at. And it is now time to distribute three of the signal box vote cards to each player. So um, they'll take one of each type, the fast track, the scenic route and the viaduct. And I'll do this for one, just one player. Um, so let's pretend I am the engineer. I would therefore vote for the viaduct. So I'm gonna put the viaduct card face down as a secret vote in the middle of the table. My fellow players will have placed other cards that I'm not aware of. So to simulate that, there's three more cards. And we turn all of those cards over. We've got a viaduct, a fast track and two more viaducts. So in this case, I'm successful. The train is now going to go down the viaduct route and I can check off my second mission, which is inspect the viaduct. Now, let's suppose in the same game has happened and I was actually the prisoner of war. The train has now gone down the viaduct route and that means I can't tick off my second mission. So do I lose the game? Not necessarily. You could be able to pick up a permit to travel. We're going to cover that in a subsequent video.